In this video, we'll discover about eight powerful learning hacks to boost your learning ability. Number one, define goals. Your brain will be all over the place if you're yet to finalize a direction, and therefore you must guide your brain to a specific path if you don't want to be plunged into the distractions and confusions that lie in the learning process. You'll be able to save a lot more time when you're able to define your goals and figure out what you want to learn as you set your goals. However, the goals you set for yourself should be smart. Specific, set boundaries and aim for what's achievable. Measurable, how do you measure your progress? Attainable, accomplishing your goal will be difficult if your mind cannot comprehend it. Simply put, be realistic. Relevant, your goals should align with your values and beliefs. Time bound, if you don't want to be caught in the web of procrastination, it's important that you have a time limitation. Set a realistic time frame. Number two, take handwritten notes. Do you know that we have more chances of remembering whatever we write down? Most of the time we tend to be lazy or maybe too busy to jot down some necessary details, thinking that they're too easy to remember. However, what most people don't know is that our mind is more attached to something visual, and this is why we should embrace writing things down. Rather than going through the stress of repeating things a hundred times in your mind, write them down physically. This often helps the brain to remember better. If you learn to cultivate the habit of taking notes, You'll get to see the results yourself in a short time frame, and you'll be surprised to see how your mind can be more glued to what you'd written down. Number three, go for short learning sessions. It's recommended that you go for multiple short episodes rather than focusing on long learning sessions. You'll end up wasting both your time and energy if you want to go through a quicker way by subscribing to long learning sessions, because we humans cannot focus on anything for too long. Maybe you want to learn a skill, or there are classes you must attend. Long hour lessons aren't helpful. They won't help you learn better. And this may even be one of the reasons why you're struggling to retain what you've learned, because you're working yourself out. To help your brain retain information more efficiently, break down the learning criteria into smaller parts. Number four, share knowledge. You need to give away if you want to get more. How do you give? It's simply by sharing your knowledge. The fact that you're sharing your knowledge doesn't mean you'll have less of it. Because as you're giving out some information, you're also taking in some information. Learning is not a one-way thing. It's a two-way process. In fact, if there's confusion in your mind, you can get more clarification when you talk about it. And your concept can even get strengthened by the feedback you get from sharing. More so, you can get to contribute to the cycle of learning when you share your knowledge. Number five, set schedules. You can boost your learning power if you use the benefits of setting schedules to your advantage. If you set a routine, your brain will be used to it. You'll be able to achieve your goals promptly when you have a set schedule. And if you have a regular learning schedule in place, your brain will be able to retain information better. So, have a routine. Number six, organize information. It's important that you learn how to be organized mentally so that the new information you take in from the new skills you learned shouldn't make you get confused. Don't let your brain get jumbled up with needless files when you keep saving files on it. Just see your brain as a computer. We all know how important it is for our hard drive to have enough space and not be jam-packed with new files every day. So what should you do? It's recommended that you give your brain some breathing space. You learn how to play the guitar today, and tomorrow you want to start keyboard training too. Come on, don't be too hard on the poor brain. It's a good thing to take up new skills, but make sure that you space out the repetition of newly learned ideas and the intake of new knowledge. Number seven, use various techniques. This has already been spoken about earlier on, and as explained earlier, we all have our respective learning styles. It will be easier for you to retain new information if you learn with your learning style. However, limiting yourself to one mode of learning isn't good enough, because a fine mix of various learning styles can be quite beneficial too. So while you try to be sure of what your predominant learning style is, you should also consider reading books, listening to YouTube videos, and or attending webinars or workshops. Just alternate between all the available options. Number eight, use time effectively and keep a healthy brain. Don't waste away your time doing what you shouldn't. And don't also give your time to long hour lessons where you will end up learning almost nothing. Use your time effectively. In your free time, you can direct your unconscious mind to an appropriate activity and whatever skill you're trying to learn. Make sure you do something related to it every day. More so, know that only a healthy brain can absorb and retain new knowledge easily. So, make sure you boost the performance of your brain by ensuring your daily routine include meditation and mental exercises. Additionally, eat a healthy and well-balanced diet and have a good sleeping schedule. You'll learn nothing if your mind is exhausted, sleepy, and tired. For more free educational content, 
visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.